हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल येस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एसोसिएशन इंडेक्स दैट इज़ अ टाइप ऑफ अ बायोडाइवर्सिटी इंडेक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिमिलैरिटी इंडेक्स सो डेफिनेशन इट इज़ अ स्टेटिस्टिक्स दैट इज़ यूज फॉर कंपेरिंग द सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ टू सैम्पल्स इन एन इकोलॉजिकल कम्युनिटी सो वाट इज एन इकोलॉजिकल कम्युनिटी इट इज एक्चुअली एन असेंबलेज ऑफ स्पीसीज इन डिफाइंड जोग्राफिक एरिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिश इन अ लेक प्लांट्स इन ए मीडो एक्सेट्रा देन द क्वेश्चन इज वाट इज द नीड फॉर अ सिमिलैरिटी इंडेक्स सो फॉर द डेजिग्नेशन ऑफ कंजर्वेशन एरियाज वी विल ओफन विश टू आस्क हाउ मच सेपरेट एरियाज डिफर इन देयर फ्लोरा एंड फोना so measuring the similarity between the two samples is important so through this we can understand what species should have what sort of existence that is in which category it should be put under and now the measurement of similarity so two features of similarity measures are there first measure should be independent of sample size that is whether the size of a sample is large or a small it doesn't matter and of the number of the species in the community whether a species is common or whether a species is very rare in a community the second is the measure should increase smoothly from some fixed minimum to fixed maximum as the two community samples become more similar so as the similarity increases between uh, uh, two samples of a community their values also should be increased from a minimum to a fixed maximum value so these are the two criteria for measuring uh, indexes which are used to measure the uh, similarity between the two species of a community so generally there are two type of measures to calculate the similarity between the two species first is the binary similarity coefficient and the second is quantitative measures so first of all we are going to discuss the binary similarity coefficients so it is the simplest measures that only deal with the presence and absence data that is a whether a particular species is present in a community or absent so it is generally categorized or we can say written in a quadrant uh, in this format that is uh, this depiction is for sample a this is for the sample v so a b c d are the four type of species that are present okay so here a denotes the number of species in the sample a and sample b joint occurrence that is a is present in sample a as well as in the sample b category then the species b that is number of species in the sample b but not in the sample a that is b is present in only sample b not in the sample a list okay then c so it is present in uh, sample a but not in the sample b list and d that is it is not present in both cases that is it is not present in sample a and also it is not present in the sample b so there are certain type of indexes which are used under the binary system first is jacquard's index it is denoted by the formula s j a upon me a plus b plus c a b c are the, the common things that we have discussed earlier here s j denotes the jacquard similarity coefficient this index can be modified to a coefficient of dissimilarity by taking its inverse actually it is also a measure for the dissimilarity between the two species so 1 minus s j another index is the sorensen's index that is it is also similar to jacquard measure its formula is एस एस इज इक्वल टू टू ए अपॉन में टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी एस एस डिनोट्स द सोरेंसन सिमिलैरिटी कोफिशेंट इट इज आल्सो यूज फॉर डिस फॉर डिस सिमिलैरिटी सो डिनोटेड बाय वन माइनस एस एस सो दिस कोफिशियंट विच इज वेड्स द मैच इन द स्पीसीज कंपोजिशन बिटवीन द टू सैम्पल मोर हैविली दैन द मिस मैच दैट इज इट इज मोस्टली यूज फॉर सिमिलैरिटी इंडेक्स इफ मैनी स्पीसीज आर प्रजेंट इन अ कम्युनिटी बट नॉट प्रजेंट इन अ सैम्पल फ्रॉम दैट कम्युनिटी इट मे बी यूजफुल टू यूज सोरेंसेंस कोफिशियंट रेदर दैन द जेकार्ड वन third is the simple matching coefficient ssm is equal to a plus d a plus b plus c plus d ssm denotes the simple matching similarity coefficient then fourth is baroni urbani and berser coefficient so sb 
अंडर रूट ए डी प्लस ए अपॉन ए प्लस बी प्लस सी प्लस अंडर रूट ए डी सो द रेंज ऑफ ऑल सिमिलर सिमिलैरिटी कोफिशियंट्स फॉर द बाइनरी मेजरमेंट डाटा इज सपोज टू बी जीरो दैट इज डिनोट नो सिमिलैरिटी टू वन पॉइंट जीरो दैट डिनोट्स कंप्लीट सिमिलैरिटी देन फोर्थ इज बाइनरी अनदर इज द बाइनरी सिमिलैरिटी मेजरमेंट्स दे आर यूज ओनली वैन प्रेजेंस और अबसेंस डाटा आर अवेलेबल फॉर अ स्पीसीज इन अ कम्युनिटी वाट आर देयर एडवांटेजेस दे डो नॉट टेक कॉमननेस एंड स्कैसिटी इन टू कंसिड्रेशन बट दैट इज अ पर्टिकुलर स्पीसीज इज कॉमन इन अ सैम्पल एरिया और इज इट वेरी रेयर इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया सेकेंड दे वेट द रेयर स्पीसीज द सेम एज द कॉमन स्पीसीज दैट इज ऑल स्पीसीज आर इक्वल अकॉर्डिंग टू दीज इंडेक्सेज then we consider a example the crustacean zoo plankton of the great lakes were sampled by watson in 1974 who obtained this data so here uh, sample a is lake erie and sample b is lake ontario so the number of species present that is um, a denotes 18 b denotes 1 c denotes 1 and the d species denotes the फाइव सो अ टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव स्पीसीज ऑफ क्रिस्टेशन जू प्लैंगटॉन अकर इन ऑल द ग्रेट लेक्स एंड ऑफ दीज फाइव स्पीसीज डू नॉट अकर इन आइदर लेक दैट इज एरी और लेक ऑन्टेरियो दैट इज फाइव स्पीसीज आर नॉट प्रेजेंट एनी वेयर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू जेकार्स इंडेक्स एस जे गिवन द फॉर्मूला वी हैव टू पुट वैल्यूज एंड दिस इज द इंडेक्स वैल्यू अकॉर्डिंग टू सोरेंसन इंडेक्स दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वी हैव टू पुट वैल्यू and according to simple matching coefficient this is the, again the formula and we have obtained the value that is 0.92 so under baroni urbani and buser coefficient again we have to put the values and we get the value that is 0.93 but there is a problem the unsatisfactory performance of all the binary similarity indices has led to reformulation of their calculation by cow at all that is in 2005 and 2006 that is these indexes do not give accurate values for a particular sample so the problem lies in species that that are shared species between the two samples but are not seen in the sampling that is the species which are observed both in the sample a as well as in sample v so consider this diagram in this case one both species that is species from the sample one is shared that is the green one is shared in a community in this case species from sample two is not shared that is uh, this species is in its own categorized area it is not shared between any of them then in case three species from sample 1 is not shared why because it is only residing in its own area that is sample 1 as one size and in case for both his species are residing in their own field of area that is s s2 and s1 so by reformation of the indexes cow at all give this uh, table that is for jacquard index this formula is based on the presence or absence then on the basis of this he formulated another formula that is s12 denoted by s1 s2 minus me s12 again abundance based so it is denoted by uv upon me u plus v minus uv sorensen index is also formulated 2a 2a plus b plus c this is the original one and after changing to s12 upon s1 plus s2 and 2 uv upon me u plus v here abundance means how abundant or frequent a species or a species are related to the other species in the community so this table is just for basic understanding it is not important for the exam point of view other measures to calculate the similarity index first is the distance coefficient when it is zero that means communities are identical that is they are similar so bray curtis measure range zero that denotes similar to one that is dissimilar it ignores the cases in which the is, is absent in both community samples and it is dominated by the abundant species so that rare species add very little to the value of the coefficient so it doesn't consider the uh, rare species which are not found commonly then another that is the correlation coefficient it is affected by sample size and especially in high diversity community then percentage similarity it is also known as renconen index as given after the name of the scientist then morissita's index horn's index of similarity 
then we have to consider an example of binary similarity measure and that is also uh, given below so first of all let me tell you some brief uh, uh, introduction about the bray curtis measure actually uh, its original name is the percentage difference method and it is described by odom in 1951 the idea is that for each species we will consider that the similarity between the two sides is given or compared by a formula that is given uh, uh, below so there are two conditions first is a symmetrical coefficient in which d is present and another is a symmetrical coefficient in which d is removed so a category it is present okay uh, in both b is present in object 1 and absent is uh, object 2 uh, along with that c and d simultaneously so this is the pattern actually what we have to obtain is that is these are the set of the data and a represents the double presence that is which is present in both the samples so a represent to 1 1 then b denotes a single presence 1 then c denotes again a single presence but in case of the object 1 so then c2 and again d that is double zeros that is not present in any site so it denotes also site 1 we have to calculate that is a plus c a plus c for the site 1 and then for site 2 we have to calculate a plus b that is this is the site 2 so an example of again quantitative measure that is break out is distance we are going to measure now with the particular example so in the following example this is the species abundance value so uh, in object 1 these are the values in object 2 these are the values then we are going to take the sum of all these that is a denotes 20 in case of b it is 22 for all these and then we are going to take the minima that in in between these two 2 is the minima in between these two 3 is the minima and their difference is that is 7 to that is 5 so w denotes their sum so now we are going to put in this formula here we also take the dissimilarity index okay and the value is this so this is the formula for break curtis index distance measuring formula comparing communities how can we compare a communities that is how similar are communities so first by observing their number of taxa that is their richness by comparing the relative abundance and evenness and also by measure using the dissimilarity and the similarity indexes another formula or we can see another measure is the chi square distance method it is actually used for uh, larger density population in a community but uh, the relevance of it is that ki when a species is abundant in the uh, whole data set then it receives low weight in the calculation of the distance and when a species is rare in the whole data set it receive uh, receives high weight rare species uh, means when it is found at two site is a better indication of a difference of a similarity then finding a common species at the two sites you will always find ubiquitous species a species that is found everywhere you will always find it in the comparison of the two sites so it is it contains little information but a rare species found at the two site it may mean that these two sites have some property that is physical or soil chemistry or whatever that makes these two sites uh, suitable for that species and it is for that reason the chi square distance and the correspondence analysis is interesting for the analysis of the community but there is a certain condition that is when rare species are not moving this coefficient will give better results that is in case of plants but when they are moving like insects so that the, that will be uh, not accurate as we desire so this is all about the similarity index we have studied the various indexes which are used for the measuring of similarity between the two species in a community uh, and also with certain examples